Hey, what's up? This is Audio Discourse, and I thought I would just give my opinions. I had debated on doing this, but I am. Um, you guys already know what's happened as far as, like, the whole thing with this guy Gil, American Cholo dude, um, and also Tariq Nasheed. Uh, I have my own opinions about that, because I remember when he... Um, said what he did about Tariq too my thing is this when you're using terms like ghetto coon it's just as bad to not only use certain things like that as if you have the authority to talk about who and who's not a sellout when you don't know anything about the person and what that person's done in our community a second thing is when a person basically talks about, how could I say this? When somebody talks about somebody that's not in the hood anymore, like living there, I don't, I just don't get it. Like black people have to live in the hood for you to be street. There's a lot of people that have gotten out of the game. From what I understand, I'm a square, you know, so I don't I don't know that life and I'm not trying to get involved in that life anytime soon. But there are people that have made it out that have moved out of the hood. I could think of certain people, especially rappers, both black and also Latin. Well, even the term Latin, when you look at it, there are black Latinos, but the ones that I'm speaking of, there is a few that are black and a few that aren't but not everybody stays in the hood like that they might come back and contribute and i've seen this happen with certain people too and, and it's a good thing but you know what a true og would give that person a blessing just to to kind of get on with their lives and and you know do the best for themselves from what i've always seen and known from people in in neighborhoods that i've grown up in you know, a real OG would applaud that. Like I said, I'm not a gangster. I don't have anything to do with that life. But I do have everything to do with respect when it comes to black Americans. Now, I know Gil always talks about respect with Latinos. Fine. I'm all about that. I have various Latin friends. But when it's not reciprocated, that's just not cool. The fact that this guy wants to regulate black people to just being in the hood is one thing Two, using the n-word liberally i don't care what context it was in it's just not cool calling somebody a ghetto coon and not even getting getting the full context of what he said and why he said it says a whole lot but you don't want people to do that to you so the thing is i'm like this dude Gil should um, accept Tariq's request to talk to him because what Gil accused everybody else of doing, he actually accused Tariq of doing. So, I mean, another thing that really bugs me about what this Gil guy said was talking about black reparations. No one has anything to do with that but black freedmen, not even black Africans or even black Latinos. Not that Bill, not that Gil is an Afro Latino. He's told he certainly isn't. But saying that you're going to protest our reparations, that's just, I mean, that to me, aside from all the the n words and ghetto coons and stuff, that solidified it even more how he feels about Black Americans and basically saying that we don't deserve what we do. That has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with our history of being freedmen and the things that have happened to our ancestors that has affected us even to this day. So it would be really cool, Gil, if you ever see this video, that you talk to Tariq Nasheed. I think it would be a very good conversation. I don't think it's going to be an argument. I mean, you seem to like to talk about certain things and issues of the world, right? 
I think it would be a good conversation, to be honest. And the thing is, I, I, I mean, when a person is called out and they don't want the conversation, that also says a lot. I heard that he denied Tariq's request. So, I mean, do you really want the conversation? That's the thing. Or do you just want to have it on your own terms? Yeah, that's, this is, I mean, I'm not cool with what he said at all. But the fact that Tariq even just say, hey, if you want to talk, come through, we'll talk. And he didn't want to even do that. What's up with that? That's my question. What's up also with you trying to basically thwart our reparations case? No black person would ever do that to any Latin persons. If anything, like black society has fought for a lot of things that Latin people have and have always applauded anyone that was struggling and helped anyone that's struggling, but yet this guy wants to basically talk against our reparations. That's not cool, man. It really isn't. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Yeah.